church right yeah. now. Amen. Yeah. And one thing I have noticed, I, I say it's in our church right now, but it's never, it's never not been there. Just, I mean, 29 years of faithful dedication Amen. to loving this group and praying for this group and yes, burying the dead and marrying the young and feeding into them. And, I mean, uh, our, our, our church, I can't put into words what it is to pastor a church that has such a, at the heart of the church, so many. Amen. Passing out tracts. And uh, it, it convicts me in my life to see my members going for God and sharing, Amen. passing out tracts and, 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 and soul winning the way they do. I praise the Lord for it. Amen. 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 And, uh, and so that, just, just so you know, we're not taking any way for anything from the Lord because the Lord's the only reason why it's possible. Amen. Amen. But the reason why the service seems to be working back over there, you'll just have to give us a few minutes just to be thankful. Amen. 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 For what God has done through their ministry. <laughs> And what God can do in the future. Amen. 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 It's an honor to have you today. Thank you so much for honoring Preacher Conwell. Amen. Amen. I've already been blessed, and I count it a great privilege. Pastor Lawson, when he came up to me a couple weeks ago and asked me if I would just say a few words. Amen. And a lot of times people call him Pastor Caldwell. He's known as Brother Thomas. Some people call him T.A. by his initials. But my favorite is Uncle Alton. Amen. And I thought of an acronym for Alton. And A is always witnessing, always faithful. Amen. L is love for others. That's right. He certainly has had a love for people. And T is for tent maker preacher. Because all of his life, he had been a full-time employee and a full-time pastor. Amen. He never tried to do either one of them halfway. He did both of them full-time. And O is for on the road again. And the N in Alpin is never quit. Amen. 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 And for some of you young ones here, I'm going to give you a little bit of family history, and then I'm going to. Sometimes you get into ministry and you wonder if it's worth the effort, and you wonder if you're really doing something, it has an impact on somebody's life or whatever. So I'm going to share mine. Uncle Alvin was a tenth of 11 children born to our grandparents. My dad was a third from the oldest. My dad was 16 years old when Uncle Alton was born. And Uncle Alton was almost 13 when I was born. He and Dad and I, at one time, about 11 years, worked at mid Co-op at the same time. And some customers mistook Uncle Alton as my dad. And that was fun to me, but it wasn't Uncle Alton. <laughs> 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 Continue to be a great mentor and encourage to me, and I can say the same for Aunt Mary Lee. Amen. I want to take you back in time a little bit. The year was 1957. The month was June. The place was Victory Baptist Church in Pomeria, South Carolina. Amen. And that's in Newberry County, in case you don't know where Pomeria is. For those who haven't, who had no idea, he was preaching hell hot and heaven sweet. And there was probably about 35 or 40 people in the church. Uncle Alton gave the invitation, and I and my brother, who is now in heaven, and my next sister on me, all went forward and received Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 By the end of the month, along with our grandfather at that time, who was 72, we were standing at the edge of Claude Wicker's pond, waiting our turn to be baptized. The cows was on the other side of the pond, and they was mooing us in. <laughs> I moved forward a little bit, and the year was 1971. The month was February. It was the same place, Victory Baptist Church, the same town, and the same preacher. The occasion was a marriage to my wife, Marilyn. Amen. In case you haven't added the years up, June will make 61 years ago 
I'm the pastor of Caldwell's preaching that I received Christ my first place. Amen. In this past February, Valentine's Day was 47 years ago, we got married. Amen. And both of them are still going great. Amen. Two passages of scripture, before I get into these two passages, I'd like to ask prayer from everybody here. I took my wife to a second ortho surgeon today, and she's going to have to have some serious back surgery. It'll be on April 10th, and I just had that y'all pray for it. I've already. A couple weeks ago, I told one thousand to pray. I'm not worried about him not being to pray. This up, but her name is Marilyn. A lot of y'all would know her, and uh, as a reference point, some of you, I'm a member of uh, we members of Gant Street Baptist, mm-hmm. and some of y'all know Brother Gene. If not all of you, in First Corinthians four two, is one passage I think was on thousand. It says, "Moreover, it is required yes, of a steward right. that a man be found faithful." Amen. And there's not a one of us in this room, if we know Christ as Savior, and somebody who, and and my uncle was my first pastor. And I would often think, if he had failed as a pastor, had said, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get out. I'm not making a difference in my life. I just wonder what kind of impact it would have had on my life. Mm-hmm. And when you stand in that gap, you got to keep on standing. Right. 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 My wife and I have five children. All of them have received Christ as Savior. Amen. Amen. All four of the boys have married Christian girls. Amen. Amen. And we just recently had number grandbaby last year, number eight, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> and all the ones from the eight-year-old, which is the youngest of the oldest ones, have made a professional faith. Amen. 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 So what God started... He will complete. Amen. He will keep going. And that's the most important thing we can do. Amen. And I think of their trustworthiness. I can truthfully say that Uncle Alton, and I can't say Uncle Alton without saying it in their they have been faithful to God's calling in their lives Amen. for almost 63 years. The other passage that comes to mind is Ezekiel 33, verse 6 through 9, and those who are familiar with it, the preacher would. It says the watchman duty. Yes. Praise God, we're not responsible for results. Right. But we are responsible to be a watchman for the Lord. That's right. And I want to say to both of y'all that I thank God for y'all's trustworthiness and y'all's faithfulness Amen. to the ministry down through all these years. Amen. And I have no doubt that if God was to spare my life another 61 years, I'd be serving Amen. 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 Amen.